Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting, what is most certainly going to be a very long Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at recreating the look from that Taylor Swift music video that I can't remember the name of. I've tried to record this video once already, and I tried way too hard and it looked awful. So we're going to do it again, and this time I am not going to use scopes, because I think that was part of the problem last time. It's much better to trust your eyes and try and get everything mathematically right. And I'm going to try a lot less hard. So... <laughs> hey, here we go. Um, first of all, uh, I shot this um, Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K in RAW. So here are the RAW settings to get us sort of semi-close. You can see they're obviously not super there with light and stuff. But, you know, we're close enough that we'll be able to make something that looks halfway there. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to separate the skin from the background since that's sort of the first thing that is popping out at me. So this guy, and I'm actually going to do this with a layer mixer because like I said, I'm going to try less hard this time. Going to have to turn off our comparison to get the key. And I need to get the qualifier going. Shift 8 so we can see what we're doing. That's close enough. And now let's go ahead and bring our lows up some if we can. Nope. Width down and center around to where we're there. Bring our lows up just a little bit. Low soft and blur it all to heck. Actually, that stuff around the nose is not gonna not gonna be working for me. So yeah, I'm fine to have some stuff pop out in the background because with you know the budget of the actual video, they could do a qualifier. And we'll just go ahead and do that. Because their video had much more money behind it than mine. Because this was just shot um, eight feet from where I'm recording this tutorial with a Home Depot light and the lights that are just sort of automatically always up in my office. Uh, so there's that. I'd really like to remove the stuff from the eyes. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that. So I won't worry about it. Like I said, don't try hard, Theo. Let's make it. All right. Cool. So now I've got our skin selected. And I'm actually going to start by getting the background closer. Um, so reduce saturation a bit. And then cool it down. And then reduce the saturation even more. And make it a little purpley. Cool. That's a good starting place. We'll go ahead and add some more light there. We'll do it now. Why the heck not? Don't try hard. Uh, so we'll need to pop back out of this so we can see what we're doing a little better. Let's make a really bright light. If you've watched some of my old tutorials, you know I used to do this all the time. Because it's a lot of fun. So do that. Bring the gain way up. Way up. And hit Shift H. So we can see what's going on. And what the heck, I'll even clip it out a little bit. Not that much. This is actually a lot softer than... We will reduce contrast. Oh yeah, we've got to add fog to the whole thing. We'll try that out. It's a little bit bright, so we'll bring it down. Because it's not blown out, it's just foggy. <laughs> I just looked over to try and reference my scopes, but they're not there because we're not using scopes for this. Cool. So do that. Um, yeah, they don't have a lot of light wrap on this, so that's pretty close. So we'll actually go ahead and change our... We probably should have done this earlier, but we'll change our input sizing. And we'll make this node sizing so we can see what we're doing here. There we go. Those are a little bit closer to being framed right. Um, obviously, her light's coming from over here. My light's coming from over here. Um, let's change the skin around a bit. So we'll add some contrast. And change the pivot. Reduce the saturation. We'll go ahead and soften it out all the way because she's a girl and we're trying to match that. Not that much, though. But you can definitely tell that there's some, some trickery going on there. That's a lot closer. Go ahead and do this in the actual grade. So, nope, not there. So, reduce that some. Go ahead and milky up the shadows a bit. Right there. 
uh, skin's still a little off. Um, you know, a lot of that is because she's a girl with makeup on and I'm a dude who hasn't showered in a couple days. Uh -huh. Part of this is also, let me go ahead and change that around just a bit. All right, so there's that. Uh, I'll do, we'll reduce saturation just a little bit more. Actually, what we'll do instead is keep doing this in the grade. Luminance versus saturation. And bring that down a little bit. Yep, that works out better. And actually, what I'll do to get rid of some of the splotchiness in the skin, this is a good trick. Uh, I'll go ahead and make color compressor. So we'll need to redo some hue stuff a little bit. But compress the hue a good little bit. Does target color do much? Yeah. And compress the saturation a bit. Ooh, hit OK. So that's obviously too much. So we should do that in a different node, shouldn't we? Yes. There we go. And invert this key. And now add the color compressor. Compress hue. Bring them over to a skin color. Oops. But actually apply what you do there. Oh, no, that's too yellow. She's a little pinkier than that. Okay, let's see how close we got. Yeah, that's too yellow. Um, but I will change that. How yeah, we'll do that in here. And that's looking closer. I could probably just color pick the value, but I think that would end up worse. Yeah. And we'll change the blend around so we get a little back. Cool. And let's check before and after. Yep, we're making some progress there. Um, the backgrounds basically match. The shadows are pretty close. The skin's as close as it's going to get, considering the limitations we're working with. Um, I feel like the overall contrast of the scene is a little different. So we'll go back in here and we'll just really tweak this around. So we need a little darker shadows, a little more contrast in the shadows. I think actually is what it is. And then a little more contrast in the highlights. Bring that back down. I feel like overall, I, want to, I think what's really distracting me is since she's got that crazy eye thing going on. I think that's really messing with how I'm perceiving the luminance of the shot. Um, so you know what? What the heck? Let's just go ahead and since we're working in the studio version of Resolve, I normally shy away from this because it can be very easily overused. But, you know, what the heck? There's a short shot. Analyze it real quick. And we'll go back to the beginning. Back to here. We'll make more of this happen. Then the real thing, we'll go to eyes. Bring the eye light up. Is that doing anything? Do we need to move forward? Yeah. Okay, so let's undo that. There you go. Let's make those a little brighter. They definitely got eye bag removal in this shot for them. So I'll do it in this. Um, I don't really want to match my lips to hers because I don't want to get in that gender bender territory. Um, so we need a little bit more, still a little bit, uh, not pinky enough. I just need like a little, oh, I should just do that this way. This is getting a little bit try hard, but you know, we're getting close. So go back to our qualifier and just select a little bit, shift H and we'll just make this hue and luminance to there and then bring the lows way up. So 
there's that and blur radius and then just make it a little a little bit pinky that's probably too much but i'll go back to here i don't know that helps out a lot without that and with it there you go so that's sort of what i was missing it's getting a little more of that feminine skin stuff going on in there so a little pinky highlights um, yeah, I think that's pretty close. I think these shadows are still a little bit off. I'm so used to making skin brighter than this, but those eyes are really helping out their shot. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty close considering, you know, all the limitations we're working with. Uh, and it's not an unreasonable grade, I think. We didn't do too much like crazy relighting or stuff, just this one little adding some pink to the highlights. Um, I guess if we wanted to, we could also Alt-P, Shift-H, get out of this guy, and I'll do our same sort of thing, and just select our shadow parts and make them a little bit bluer. Not that blue, though. Yeah, more like that. I mean, I think if those two shots were put right next to each other, let's get rid of some of this, though. That's really bugging me. So just add a little mask here. License dongle check did not fail, my friend. All right, so just get rid of this a little bit. And while we're in here, we might as well. Uh, yeah. Goodness gracious, this node tree is a mess. Alt S and give ourselves a little more of an eye light. And I told you this is going to be a long one, y'all. Alt P and we'll go ahead and add a little linear qualifier down here. Okay, that helps out with the values in that shot a little better. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think that is acceptably close. Could use a little more blues in the shadows. Um, and I'll probably do that back here. No, I should do that forward of these keys. You know, it's not the best. Let's do that in here. Yeah, let's even see what happens if I do this. I think that's a bad idea. And reduce the saturation a bit more. I think this was a bad idea. I can bring the saturation back just a bit. But yeah, I mean, I think we're at least closer to it. So anyway, there's my best go at getting the look from that Taylor Swift music video that I cannot remember the name of. I did this with a previous one and probably got about this, this same amount of close. And it did well. Um, hopefully, even if you're not trying to replicate this look exactly... You know, you get some good tips here. And hopefully I didn't just like stay silent the whole time because I was thinking because I've already done this a couple times. Since we're here, we might as well look at the other times. So control B. This was the last tutorial I tried to record on this. You can see it got nowhere close. And this was my first attempt, which is like a whole different. I mean, that's pretty cool. But I think this is our closest, most usable one yet. Um, all sorts of stuff. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If I didn't already mention to subscribe, be sure to subscribe. It's cool. Leave a comment. Be sure to visit museummedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of cool uh, lookup tables and light leaks and stock footage stuff and, and good things, power grades, whatever you want that help you grade faster and better and save you all this time and hassle of, of doing this. Because, you know, I've done you know, this sort of stuff for, for all those and you can just apply them to your clip without, you know, all the secondaries. Well, the power grades, there are a lot of secondaries. A lot of secondaries. But yeah, I'm pretty tired since I've already done this tutorial a couple of times and this is super long. I'm probably not gonna edit this too much, so it's gonna stay pretty long. Once again, I'm Theo with Meese New Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.